daytime. I'm about to learn how to bowl, and it's all because of the Tim Hortons Bowl for Kids' Sake. Please help me welcome Sherry Lynn and Ed. Thank you so much for being here today. Great to be here. Thank you for having us. Oh, great. Now, you, Sherry Lynn, are with, obviously, Big Brothers. And tell us about, I mean, you've been with them forever. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why are you so passionate about this movement? Well, I think Big Brothers Big Sisters is such an important, has such an important role to play in, the, in our community, mm -hmm. certainly in children and youth who are developing. And I think mentoring is a really important preventative tool that we can give to our children and youth as they're trying to navigate through their years yes. and have a great role model to really help them do that, to be a friend, to mm -hmm. be that mentor, to be that support person for them. Do you think that's all they really need is just, you know, confidence and someone to talk to and vent to? I think lots of kids just need that. We all need that. We do. So you can imagine for children and youth, um, you know, if they don't have that, if that's not part of you know their life we're happy at big brothers big sisters to put that in play for them so they can build their brighter future and and be all that they can be as That's they so nice. move forward I yeah like that so how did you pair up with tim hortons and this whole bowl for kids sake Event. Well, Bowl for Kids Sake is our national fundraiser, so across the country, uh, most Big Brother Big Sister agencies will be running a bowling event, and it's one of our, it's our annual event that we do every year about this time, so it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. it, it is, sounds yeah, like it. It's, it's really <laughs> neat. We're really lucky to have the support of Classic Bowl Ed. and Ed here today to um, help us. Of course, Rogers is a wonderful supporter and sponsor of ours, and then of course, Tim Hortons is our title sponsor, and they do lots of wonderful things for us in terms terms of uh, supporting us and we have many other sponsors and of course our teams we mm. just hit the hundred teams registered Yay. so I'm really excited about that and we're hoping to actually move it forward to 150 this is our centennial year so across the country Big Brothers Big Sisters has been around for a hundred years providing wow. mentoring and so uh, we're 46 years in Peel so we're not quite there yet but we're celebrating as a movement across um, the country so this is a really special bowling event this year so amazing now Ed Classic bowl, obviously you know how to play uh, the well, game. A little. You do. Now you've got the heavy ball. How much yeah. does this weigh? This one's 15. I was trying to pick that up. Like there's no way I could fling that anywhere. Uh, you could. It'll be a little more difficult, but you could. <laughs> they start, ball. the ball start as low as uh, six pounds. The one that you're actually holding is eight, okay. which is uh, almost the starting weight that we like to kind of get most people to start with but for some of the younger children they can start as light as six pounds and That's go as heavy as 16. Sherry Lynn and I were laughing because this is still heavy. This yeah. is like I know it's an eight pounder but this is pretty heavy. I have no muscles. Do you need muscles <laughs> when you play uh, ball? You use a lot of muscles. You actually use 134 muscles when you bowl. Oh no. my goodness. Uh, wow. Which ones do you know? Uh, all of them. <laughs> I, I don't know how many each body has but there's 134 muscles that you actually <laughs> use when you bowl. Great. And That'll be sore. Yeah. Tomorrow. That's right. Uh, and Thanks, for a, uh, a regular <laughs> three games, which is close to what Big Brothers will be bowling, yep. you act like walking a mile <gasps> on the approach. Really? So it's actually, so every time you go to play, work. make sure you play three games that you're actually walking a mile. So it saves you a lot of distance because the approach is very short. Right. So how do you get started? I mean, you're going to teach me how to be, become a professional. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So the, the <laughs> easiest thing to do That's right, okay. is... And you're going to supervise. Yes. I'm the so, cheering. Yeah. And yeah. you're going you're gonna to tell me if I'm doing something wrong. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So I'll the easiest thing to do, so hold the ball on your non-bowling hand. So if you're right-handed, hold it with your left hand. It's your middle two fingers. Okay, you insert them in the finger holes first. In these ones? Yeah, those ones there. Make sure they go literally to your knuckle, to the break of your knuckle. I'm going to get them stuck in there. No, nah, just to the break of your knuckle, and then you insert your thumb in. Okay. Okay, try to do it as far as you can. Okay. Okay, and then you hold it this way, so make sure your elbow's kind of tucked in. Hold it Heavy up sharing, this way. You can even hold your other hand oh, for I'm support holding. as well. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that. Yeah. And then you just go, make sure that you slide on the opposite of your bowling hand. So in this case, you finish off sliding with your left foot because you're you right-handed. sliding with? Well, when you're walking up the approach, right? Yeah. You take, you know, one, two, three, four, and then you, and then you oh. release the ball. Okay, that made sense. <laughs> so the object is to always <laughs> end, me so far? Oh, yeah. the object is always to end with your non-bowling hand to be your sliding foot. So in your case, you're right-handed, so yeah. you always finish off on your left foot. Because you're throwing your right-hand so bowlers. So I'm going to do this. 
Exactly. See, see what I mean? I just that threw the ball. Yeah, you got to do it with the opposite. No way. But you did it so nicely. Yeah, but you, you look really good doing it with just the opposite of the game. When you don't know what you're doing, you got to look good doing it. Yeah, and that's that, right. Yeah. That's right. And that saves uh, a lot of the issues. I don't think I can do that. Sure, you can. Step and then. Yeah, you step. In some there. cases, yep, that's it. See, perfect. Oh, you don't see? want to know. See? Okay. I could tell the difference. <laughs> and the object of the game is to try to keep the ball on the shiny area, which is the lane. You don't want it to fall over the In side. In the gutter. Yeah, exactly. And like go like. Exactly. Which, line, uh, like five, six, uh, exactly. And if you're whatever lane you're bowling on, please keep the ball on the same lane. So if you're bowling on lane seven, try to keep the ball on lane seven, not on lane eight. I like to six. think outside or the box, though. Though. Or outside or, yeah. of the lane. I do. There's yeah. 60 yeah. lanes at the yeah, yeah, there's bowl. 60 you have lanes, so you have a lot of play, too. Because the lane is 60 feet long, so you have a lot of room to play Holy with. Holy cow. Yeah. Okay. So when you're actually trying to throw it, yes. is it called throwing it? Yeah. You throw right. the ball. Yeah. I'll try to throw the ball. Yeah. I mean, how do I ensure that I get that strike? Well, the what object is, is there's each lane has little markers on it. There's okay. little arrows. And the object is to align yourself with specific markings on the lane. And if you get a strike throwing the ball on a specific place on the lane, we try to repeat that over and over again. So if you throw, again, a strike on a specific part, yeah. try to throw the ball there every single time because you'll get the same result. So it's what Einstein said. <laughs> and because a lot of people, when uh, especially if they go, you know, maybe bowling once a year, once every couple of months, they forgot what they did. Oh, uh, right. So there's little markings on the lanes. It's kind of, you know, as soon as they get a strike, they'll say, you know, I remember that now. So I'm going to throw the ball in the same place all the time. Mm -hmm. Again, that gets them the same result. Okay. You know? So do you want to see what? Uh, I want to see what you can do. Okay. I'm going to do a mock one because yeah. I'm trying to get used to the leg thing. All right. So hold on. There you go. Okay, ready? Sherlyn, do you think I could get a strike? I, I think you're good. Yeah? Yep, yep I'm, I'm there. <laughs> you know more about bowling already than I've done it for 17 years. I think you're great. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Do you have to breathe? No, no, no. I'm a little nervous. No, oh, okay. no, don't be nervous. It doesn't hurt at all. I'm very It'll hurt yeah. the pins yeah. more than you. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! oh, no! oh, oh. You know what? But you got. But you got the hard one. Oh. That's the most difficult one to get. Okay, we're gonna set, hey, can you set that up again? I want to try that again, because that was just awful. I'm going to try that again. There's only two pins. <laughs> and remember, this is 10 pins, so you'll have to knock all 10 down. <laughs> I got two. We, we only gave you the easy ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. Oh, you see? There you, but yeah. you know what? You did, this, you did the same yeah, thing twice, which is good, so you're twice. consistent. <laughs> Sherlyn, that was awful. Tick, tick, tick. see? Consistency. See, exactly, consistency. That's right. very important. Her. <laughs> see? Thank you so I'm much. I'm for you. And again, it's the, uh, <laughs> all the information is at the bottom of your, of your screen. We have lots more yoga for partners coming up next after this quick break. So come on back. Thank you. Yeah.